Hey, this is Rick Farrell. I'm a Nashville-based singer-songwriter. Well, I grew up in sports, so like ball playing was my life growing up, but both sides of my family played music, so when, anytime we would have a get-together... Um, the whole family would play? Yeah, oh, pretty so much jealous. bring the guitars and sit around a cooler beer and, and uh, play and sing music, you know. And, um, I guess I started kind of jumping in when I was about seven or eight years old, you know. I kind of inherited through my dad's sister a, uh, I think she must have dated like a, a radio DJ in like the 70s. And when they broke up, she kept all his vinyl albums and somehow we ended up with them. So that was kind of my education in the music business was there was everything in there from uh, anything you could think of. From the country stuff to heavy metal, Ozzy would have been in there. So I would go through those albums when I was about 17. I would go through there and I would search for stuff that I felt like I could uh, learn from, you know, mm -hmm. like get better on acoustic guitar. So I kind of gravitated to uh, artists like James Taylor and um, Jackson Brown, and Jim Croce. Now, are you from Nashville originally? No, I grew up in Southern Ohio, right, right. down on the river. How old yeah. were you when you made the transition? I was about, I think when I got down here, I was 21 or 22. Yeah. yeah. What's right. your favorite thing about being in Nashville now? Well, Thursday? man, it's changed so much since I got here. I mean, it's just grown so much. And you actually have a pretty famous kind of claim to fame with one of the songs you wrote. I guess, yeah, it's, it's been, uh, I said it's, just, it's like the Energizer Bunny, it just keeps going. And which song is that? Uh, it's called Something Like That, or I guess better known as the Barbecue Stain song. <laughs> yeah. That's what everyone always says is the barbecue stain on the white t-shirt, yes. But for Tim McGraw, mm -hmm. that's yeah. really great. So you wrote that song. I feel like a lot of times people don't understand that behind these performing artists, there's a whole other crew of songwriters that yeah. actually you know, came up with the words for that. So what would you say is probably one of the, like, your most proud moments being in this industry? Well, I've had a lot of, you know, things that, uh, you know, little goals you accomplish mm -hmm. along the way, but I, I mean, I guess from just a, uh, from a successful place, the, just the, the success that the, the Barbecue State song yeah. has had, you know, <laughs> we, we found out, I think at the uh, beginning of 2010, that it was the most played, uh, Actually, my buddy, my buddy who I co-wrote with Keith Pollard, they called me on Christmas morning. He said, "Hey, I just wanted to let you know. I just found out that uh, Barbecue Sting was, song was the most played song of the decade in any <laughs> wow. genre of music." And uh, so I'm, that was pretty cool. You know, you don't get that yeah. uh, happen a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at today? This is a studio you've recorded many times here. Well, actually, this is. Uh, D Money, Dennis Money Studio, Sweet Song. His name's uh, Money. Yeah, his 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 last name really is Money. <laughs> Me and D Money have probably known each other for going on ah, it's hard to believe probably 16 years, you know. So we've just kind of been putting a plan together in our head for about the last six seven months to go in and record some stuff the way we wanted to do it. With that in mind, you know, kind of cut stuff true to the mm -hmm. to the writing. You know, not really try to cater it towards radio or towards anything. Just kind of go back to my roots on it, mm -hmm. base it around my guitar or piano, and uh, try to keep keep it as simple as we can. You know. Just like a love song. Rick. Hey, since we got the famous Brittany here today, what I think we should do is I'm going to show her a couple of things about this mixing board. There's only, I think, 2,300 knobs on it. And I'm going to show her a couple of things. I'm going, to, I'm going to let her actually, I know we're working on pre production on the new song, but I'm going to let her actually um, record you, okay? Sure, yes, yeah, she's going to steal your job. <laughs> yeah, all right, I can Watch handle. out, I just might. <laughs> so, we got, uh, Brittany, we got. The, we got two channels of guitar on 9 and 10, which we've already got them engaged. We've got channel 13 as his vocals. So, of course, you've got the two guitars right here. They're marked. So that would be your volumes for him. Then you've got his vocal on this one, okay? Okay. So uh, I'm going to get out of the way. Oh, no, don't leave me alone. 
I'm gonna trade, I'm gonna trade seats with you. Oh, and, okay. And if you I don't, like, I don't want to like blow something. If you out. don't want to hear him, just hit that. Okay. Hit that. So just mute it the whole time. Or <laughs> <laughs> for perfect, you sound great. <laughs> okay. So uh, you got to hit that button and tell him you're rolling. Okay. Hit Which your, one? Go into like record mode. Go into record mode first. Which one's for? Go into your record mode on the. This. Yep. Okay. Now tell him you're rolling. Okay. Is that the top button? Bottom. Bottom. Okay. Push it down. Oh, you got to hold it? Yep. Hey, Rick. Here we go. We're rolling right. with the homies. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're watching them right up there. Oh, okay. Okay, so then explain. I see the three layers. Yep. So two of them's guitar. So it's the left. We got this one is actually a mic guitar. This one's plugged in. And here's his vocal. Like if you want to turn his vocal down, you can. Okay. Under so that full yep. moon. Turn it down later. So I'm done. With all those stars okay, up above. So what's the kind of the range? Like well, we just want to make sure that we hear the vocals yeah. good. And then, like, and then here's what's cool. If you want to hear just the guitar, hit, we just hear the guitar. And it's still recording. Oh, yeah. It's just so you can hear it. Yeah. And then we, out under the street light. Okay. That makes the vocals so low. Okay. Yeah. Then you can turn the guitars up and down right here. Those are you mess with them. Why is there two of them? One of them, that's the plug in, and this one's mine. Never kiss, I feel okay. the rush. Pretty good, right? And the mountains turn to dust. Boom! And forever's not long enough. I think you ought to call it a stop the recorder and call them at this point. So we're going to have to get it together. Now, if you were recording um, more instruments or more band numbers, yeah. you would record Love them separately, song. right? We, we do like six musicians at one time. Okay. It's this whole, what sort of old school like they used to do it? One time, but you can't fit six musicians in these rooms. No, we've got the drum room, we've oh, got the guitar room. Oh, so you rooms, can all, got, you know they what? all will hear the track? Oh, yeah, they, they hear each other, they can talk back and forth. Okay. There's keyboards, bass out in the other room, there's a drum room, there's a guitar room, and there's a be acoustic um, guys in here. Rick, I didn't tell you you could stop playing. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so stop his record. Stop his recording <laughs> there. <laughs> Stop the recording. Let's see what we got. All right. I think at this point that you've done a great job recording. I think you ought to yeah. make him come in and listen and see if there's any changes you want to make. All right. Uh, you need to tell him, though. This button. Get oh, him I, in here. No problem, Boston Boys <laughs> Hey, Rick, why don't you come have a listen? I'm going to let Rick sit down right here, so if you have to get on to him about anything and <laughs> want to make any changes. I don't want to be too close to him. We can smack a distance. All right. Remember, he was... Uh, Should have did the all right. He didn't all pay right, attention right. to you. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> here it starts. Now remember, at this point, you can turn guitars up or down or vocals or whatever you want to do. But just find your channels there. That's the I fell yeah. There you go. You under that full moon, with all those stars up above. I think it sounds pretty good. Just like you got a it. <laughs> song. Now, what if you wanted your guitars louder? What would you do, Rick? The guitars louder. Yeah. Yeah, she can jam. There you go, put the vocals up too. There you go. <laughs> Under the street light. There we go. Yeah, she's mixing now. Yeah, she's mixing. Yeah. Are you it's a like record a player? <laughs> Get some vinyl in here. Sounds good, Rick. Never kiss, I feel the rush. I think we should cut this with a band. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cut it with a band? <laughs> yeah, put it on the new record. I think we ought to put this on the new record. Just like a love song. You laid one on me, right there in that front seat, under the street light. Oh, just like a love song. Love song. Every kiss I feel the rush And those mountains turn to dust And forever's not long enough Just like a love song